Most purse home sellers understand that presentation will have a big influence on their sale price. And when it comes to maximizing that final figure, they often think about renovating the spaces where they spend the most time, like the kitchen and bathroom. Hi, it's Vera Jang from Stage Property here again. And in today's video, I want to share some tips on how to maximize your return on time and money invested when preparing your home for sale and whether there are other areas of the home you should be focusing on first. Kitchens and bathrooms can certainly make or break a home sale, but they're also the most expensive areas to renovate. Meanwhile, you might be able to add far more value in proportion to your budget in other areas. So let's explore the possibilities with my top five tips. Value add number one might sound odd, but it's very important. Start by sorting out any outstanding council approvals. Make sure all your paperwork is up to date. You can have the best shed or garage in the street, but if the work wasn't permitted in the first place, that could seriously affect your sale price. Before you list the property or plan any renovations, check the status of your property with your local council to make sure everything is up to date. If you do find an issue, speak to their staff to find out what needs to be done to complete the sign-off process. I'm also happy to discuss your options around this with you and this is often part of our pre-listing process. Your natural reaction at this point might be, why worry, we bought it like this. The problem is, these days banks often won't lend on properties with serious outstanding building approval issues. It doesn't matter how nice your kitchen is if your buyer can't borrow money to buy your home in the first place due to an issue like this. Value add number two is to make overdue repairs to ensure a smooth building inspection process. Completing the boring maintenance jobs is often where you get the best bang for your buck. Nothing slows down a real estate sale process more than contracts crashing over a bad builder's report. So before you sell, remove any potential hurdles by sorting problems before they get flagged by an inspector. One option is to pay for your own inspection, so you can find out what needs to be done and hopefully get the work completed before you go on the market. Buyers are often going to get an inspection done, so you might as well know what they're likely to find well before the deal depends on it. Value add number three is sort out your block. Stand on the street outside your property and view your home like a buyer would when visiting for the first time. What stands out to you? What would attract their attention, good or bad? Focus on making this first impression as welcoming as possible by clearing and cleaning any paths, trimming hedges, painting fences, and adding color with plants wherever you can to create a welcoming feel. Now go through the same process in other key areas of your home. Sometimes a few targeted paint touch-ups and a few potted plants are all you need to make a house feel like a cherished home. Value add number four is painting. When it comes to adding value, you're unlikely to find anything that provides a better return on investment than painting. Focus on key areas that develop wear and tear like doorways, window frames, steps and fences. Go for neutral, light tones. Finally, value add number five is kitchens and bathrooms. Now that you've tackled the other key areas of your home, you can move on to spaces like your kitchen and bathroom, but try to remain objective. Understand that sometimes it's better to provide a clean working canvas for your buyer to have fun with, rather than a full complete renovation in a style they may not like. Sometimes a coat of paint is all you need. Sometimes new fixtures can make a big difference. These areas should be tackled on a case-by-case -case basis as every home is different. Part of my service as your selling agent is helping you decide how far to go in your pre-sale preparations. So please don't hesitate to get in touch with me to book a consultation. I'll come and look at your property and we can talk through the options together. At the end of the day, there are lots of ways you can add value, but often the most effective options are the slightly boring ones. Solving problems before they come up and making sure your potential buyer's initial first impression is a good one. If you have questions about anything I just talked about or would like to discuss your options for selling, please call or text me on 0432 069 060. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Vera Chan saying goodbye. If you'd like to watch some more of my videos, drop by the Stage Property YouTube channel.